Okay, so in this video we're going to go over the metrics mode uh, inside Domain Ronin. Uh, so metrics mode is what you can use when you have a group of domains that you want to pull back the Majestic, Moz and PageRank metrics for. And uh, I'll just go over how you configure that and how you run a job. Uh, it's very simple. So to start off with the configuration, just go to the settings tab at the top and go to the metrics sub tab. You'll see uh, here in the Moz section, this is where you can add a single Moz account or a bunch of Moz accounts. Um, you can either add them individually with this button or you can uh, add them with the add file button. You can add as many as you like. Um, in this box over here, you can specify different proxies uh, for each different Moz account. So, uh, so you had proxy one configured in here, and proxy two in here, and proxy three in here, and so on. Uh, it would mean that proxy one and this account are uh, bound together, so that uh, every time that this account is used, it goes through that proxy. Um, so at the moment, we've got a bunch of accounts that are configured. Uh, down here you have the Moz timeout settings um, for a free account it's normally 10 seconds and for a paid account it's 5 seconds um, so we normally just leave that on 10 seconds. Uh, down here uh, this is where you can enable and disable the different metrics that you want to retrieve for the domains uh, that you've loaded into Domain Ronin. Um, so for example if you only wanted Majestic data to be returned then you would have these two disabled and only majestic data would be returned. Um, it's pretty straightforward, tick them, untick them and, and uh, you enable them and disable them. Um, so for this test um, we'll just leave them all enabled. So that's all you need to do for configuring metrics mode. Um, there's a whole lot of work that goes on behind the scenes and we've just tried to keep the configuration as simple as possible uh, so it's quick to set up a new job and, and get it running. Um, it's also good to know that um, behind the scenes there's actually a separate thread pool um, for each application that we've got inside Domain Ronin. Um, so you don't need to configure threads um, for uh, metrics mode or availability mode. Um, or even Spamzilla, the only threads that you need to configure are for the crawler. Um, so we'll now kick off the job, we'll go back to the workspace. So fairly straightforward, uh, just click on the drop down box here, select metrics mode. Uh, this check box here, this allows you to pull back the metrics for either root domains or the full URL if you've got uh, you know, if you've got a whole a full path that you want to get the metrics for, um, then you leave this disabled. If you want to get the metrics for the root domains, a list of root domains, uh, then you need to enable this checkbox here. Uh, so then you can either enter a single domain or URL. Uh, you just click on the button up here, enter in the URL address and click on add. Um, but I'm going to add in a bunch of URLs, so I'll click on the add multiple URLs button. I'll open this text file which just has a whole list of URLs. It loads them into here and then we click start. So you'll see down the bottom here um, this uh, little bit of information changes to start when the actual job's kicking off. You'll see the domains checked counter is uh, increasing and the timer kicks off. So that's how you know that it's actually running. Again, we can see that there's metrics that have been pulled in here. Um, we've got our trust flow, citation flow, page authority, domain authority. Um, this is the ratio between citation flow and trust flow. We've got referring domains, external backlinks and our page rank. Each one of these columns can be filtered on the fly in um, ascending or descending order. So as its domains Ron domain Ronin is actually working, you can filter them um, however you like. I normally like to have them filtered by trust flow. Uh, in the filter box underneath the headers for each column, you can actually use simple operators to filter 
uh, out domains um, you know with the match certain metrics so for example if we have the domains filtered by trust flow in descending order and you only want to see domains that have uh, more than um, 10 or more referring domains then you put in the greater than symbol you put the number nine and as you can see here now if I scroll down all of them are 10 or 10 and above so you can do that for multiple columns if we only want to see domain authorities of greater than say eight then that's that's what we'll see it just helps when um, you know you start crawling um, or even checking a, a, a group of URLs it just helps to see what kind of quality um, is in the list that you're currently working with so that's pretty much it it's fairly straightforward um, simple to configure simple to start and you can just let it go and it will run um, you'll notice that it might run a little bit slower when you're bringing all of the metrics for example if you're bringing in just um, trust uh, sorry majestic data um, you know it might get through them a bit quicker um, and, and same if you're just bringing in Moz data or just bringing in PR data um, because Moz um, you know has fairly low API quotas for the free accounts uh, generally I'll run a whole batch um, and bring in the majestic data first I'll filter out um, the domains that I don't want and then I'll run that through um, through the Moz data so you, yeah you're not chewing up all your all your quota uh, so that's pretty much it for this video fairly easy fairly straightforward uh, hope you guys enjoy it and if you have any questions just let us know thank you